We're joined now by our correspondent in Nigeria, Chinwe Asundu. Chinwe, thank you for being with us. Uh, there was pushback from uh, uh, in, in regard to Nigeria's president over this idea of a military intervention. Did President Bola Tinubu speak too soon when he threatened, as the new head of ECOWAS, a military intervention? So I guess um, the presidents, it admits other presidents of uh, head of states of uh, ECOWAS members, you know, uh, and just what, the fact that the coup just happened, I think all of them crossed and did not really um, gather uh, essential facts to arrive at that decision. And of course, they did not gather enough information and did not even foresee what was going to happen if they actually altered or voiced out such a decision because normally if um it does a coup in niger and it was just isolated niger it should have been a different case but when we start seeing allies from mali and uh, burkina faso who have suffered the same thing and different measures were used on them then there should be a problem we can say they actually spoke too soon um but of course, the Senate in Nigeria had many reasons to actually fight this decision, given the fact that Nigeria cannot afford uh, such an intervention right now with the economic crisis and the high inflation we have in Nigeria. This poor subsidy has just been uh, uh, scrapped off and we just try to save a trillion dollars. So Nigeria is actually looking forward to better its economy and also fight insurgency and uh, Boko Haram in the north, especially in the north and in the southeast of Nigeria. For According to the Senate, the president uh, should actually look for further uh, ways or diplomatic ways to uh, mediate this uh, problem that is taking place in Niger and not really go for military intervention. Nigeria can't afford that right now as the highest contributor in ECOWAS. As for the summit that's planned for this Thursday, can you paint a picture for us of what to expect? Does ECOWAS have any negotiating power with the junta in Niger? Yes, ECOWAS will always have a negotiating power with the junta in, uh, in Niger. Just they have to find out a strategy. They have to design a strategy that will help them bring them to the table. Yes, they've had immediate sanctions that is taking place in Niger, such as uh, the electricity uh, cut from Nigeria that is already taking place and some other uh, uh, sanctions like no-fly zone. Yes, uh, Niger has closed its airspace, but remember that Nigeria and Niger, the share borders, seven states, northern states in Nigeria actually share a very porous uh, uh, border with Niger. And so there's a lot of commercial activities. This will actually penalize um, both, with both parties because Nigerians who are also living in Niger as refugees said they don't want this uh, uh, military intervention. So it's going to be a two-way thing. Now, ECOWAS should find a way come Thursday to diplomatic ways, as the U.S. says, as some other international bodies says, as many people in Nigeria are of the opinion that they should seek diplomatic ways to actually bring the junta to the table and negotiate. The junta knows what is at stake, and ECOWAS knows what is at stake. There must be a way out instead of the military intervention.